Hello everyone, this is Akash here from blenderschool.webs.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this abstract render, which you can see over here. It's just made up of cubes. It looks pretty good. Now, the idea behind this render was this image, which I found on Google, and this is a site here. And uh, it's pretty nice, actually. I like the design and the whole arrangement of cubes. So we'll be using the particle system to create this. It's, it's really, really easy. I'm going to be using uh, Blender version 2.73 and the Cycles render engine for this. So let me show you the final scene first. So this is the final scene. We have a big plane with a particle system. That, this one. And um, we have some cubes here, some small cubes which are going to be uh, used for the particles. And also we have some depth of field settings in the camera and some lamps. So let's create this. So open up a new scene in Blender. File new, reload startup file. So this is the default scene in Blender. We'll be using the default cube. But before that, move it to the second layer by pressing M and then 2 to move it to the second layer. Now press the 2 and uh, here's the cube. This is the second layer. Drag out this panel to view more properties. Go to the modifiers tab. Select add modifier then select bevel. This is going to bevel the edges by adding more edges. <laughs> uh, change the width to be about 0 0.072 and change the segments to be 5. This is going to give you some bevel which you can see in this picture also around some cubes which is good. Also enable smooth shading. So now this is our basic cube. Now change the blender render to be the cycles render and go to the materials panel and click on use nodes. Just change the color to be a blue color. You can use some other color if you want to. Open the settings, come down and change the viewport color also to be blue. So now we have a blue cube. Now let's create the black one. So to do that, duplicate this cube by pressing shift D, then press X. Just move it just beside this cube. Click on 2 to make uh, to make a separate material. And change the surface type to be mixed shader. Change the first shader to be diffuse. Second shader to be glossy. Change the FAC value to be 0.35. And change the uh, glossy roughness to be 0.3. Now change the colors. For the diffuse, you're going to be using black color. So completely black color and for the glossy slight gray color. Come down and change the viewport color for this to be to be black. Bit It's fine. So now we have both of our cubes ready. Now let's create a group so that we can use this later in the particle system. So make sure you're holding down shift and then right click on the blue cube, then press Ctrl G to create a new group. And if you open the tools panel, you can name your group. I'm gonna name it cubes. So now we have our objects for the particle system. Now let's create the main plane, uh, which is going to hold all the all the cubes. So come in the first layer by pressing the 1, or just click here. Now press Shift A, and from Mesh, select Grid. You can also use a plane, but Grid allows you to subdivide it. Like if you select Grid and open the tools, now you can specify the number of X and Y subdivisions. You can also use a plane, but later on you need to again subdivide it. So let's use a grid and change the x subdivisions to be 24 and the y subdivisions also to be 24. Now we have a nicely subdivided plane actually. Scale this plane by pressing S, then 8, then enter, then press the R key to rotate it, and then X, then 90. So now we have our plane or the grid itself rotated. Now let's uh, add the particles. So come in the particle settings and click new. Change the type to be hair. Also check advanced. Change the emit from faces to be what is what's, which is vertices, and uncheck random. This has nicely placed all the hair. Now let's add those cubes. So come down, then in the render, change this to be group, and then select the cubes. Now we have the cubes arranged. Your viewport may start lagging because we have a beveled cube and there are lots of particles. So you can come down the display, 
can decrease the number of particles by decreasing the display. I'm going to keep it about 15% only. We don't want to change much in the particle settings. But come down and again in the render, check use count. Now change the cube zero, uh, zero 001 to be 2 so that it uses the black cube more. Come up, increase the size. You can increase the size, uh, not the random size, size to create a nice nice cube like it should the plane should look as if it's covered with cubes so let me just turn the display to be 100% for now and now I can change this to be 0.82 I think and this is fine yep. it's fine so our whole grid is now covered with, uh, with particles I'm just gonna hide the particles now because we're gonna be editing this uh, grid so come in the edit mode by pressing tab key change the uh, uh, press a once or twice and everything is deselected and come here and select face select mode select then uh, select random then press p then select selection to separate the selected paths now select those uh, uh, separated paths by right clicking on it go to the edit mode by pressing the tab key make sure everything is selected you can press a once or twice then press e then extrude and just pull these out a bit okay make sure the uh, faces are still selected and then press p and select selection now select the behind the original grid then come in the edit mode and do the same thing again select random p selection select the other one and then press e to extrude and this time slightly not much very less once you have done this press b to select all the grids and press Ctrl G to join and make them one. Now, if you on the particles, you'll see they are all they are all very awkward. Now they are all rotated and it's all looking good. So for fixing that, you can come here in the particle settings, check rotation, come down and change this to be none. So now if you on the particles, you'll see it's much more better and it's straight now. It's good now. You can also decrease the particles. We don't want so many particles. Well, it's about 650 particles, which is good. Now for the material of the grid, come in the materials panel, click on this button, change this to the material one or the black one. So now we have a basic scene ready. Now let's set up the lamp. For the lamp, we'll be using the default lamp and a plane. So first select the default lamp, go to the top view and orthographic view, then press G to move the lamp, place it just over here, change the size to be uh, 2. Click use nodes, change the strength to be 2000. And now let's add in the plane. So to do that, shift A, mesh and plane. Scale it a bit by pressing S. In the materials panel, click new. Change the surface to be emission. And change the strength to be 20. Rotate the plane by pressing R, X and 90. Enter. And move this plane just behind over here. That's nice. Now let's set up the world. So the world, the world panel, change the color to be black. So let's save the project. Before that, I'm going to hide these particles. Uh, Control S and select where you want to save it. I'm just going to name it tutorial. That's nice. Now let's set up the camera view. So make sure that you're in the camera view and then uh, check lock camera to view from the properties panel. And now you can set up your camera view very easily. Just like this is just fine. You can enable particles to just see how it looks. And it's looking pretty good. It's not bad. So now let me uncheck. Save it. So now we have a basic scene ready. You can come here and check to rendered. You want to see your particles. And check border rendering. And it's looking pretty good. You can also add depth of field to make it look more good. So to do that. Uh, come in the uh, make sure that the camera is selected go to the camera settings check limits Come down and uh, you can increase the distance now, but before that you come in the top view and Now increase this distance this distance value will uh, Move this yellow line in the middle just place it till it reaches the front cube like till here We're gonna be using the aperture to be radius just change the size to be 0.1 it's gonna give you a lot of depth of field 
which is good. Now, if we come in the rendered preview mode, you can see a scene. It's looking pretty near to what we have over here. Pretty nice. So now let's set up the rendering options now. So control S, save. Now for the rendering settings, come down and, and open the sampling. Change the render samples to be much higher value. For my final scene, I used only about 200 samples. You can use more for a more clearer image. For now, I'm going to be using 150 samples. It's good. And now you can click on render. So it's rendering. I'm going to pause the video till the rendering is finished. So the rendering has finished. And now let's go to the compositor to make it look more good. So change this UV image editor to be the node editor. Come in the render players uh, panel and check use nodes. So now we have got a basic node set up. Let's move that aside. Now let's uh, increase the brightness first. So quick. Before that, let me attach in a view and hood. So you can see it more properly. Yeah. So to add the RGB curves now for increasing the brightness, press Shift A. And from color, set RGB curves, place it over here, increase this to increase the brightness. You can increase it if you don't want much brightness, which I got now. Yeah, this much looks pretty good. A little bit less, I think. Yeah. Now let's add in a color balance node. So press Shift A, color, color balance. Place it here again. And just change this to be a bit blue. The gain to be a bit blue. It's pretty nice. Now you can add in a hue saturation value node to make the colors look more nice. So change the saturation to 1.05. And now finally you can add in a vignette to make it look more good. Now for uh, for this I'm going to use the old way of creating vignettes. So for that add in a lens distortion node. Place it here. I'm just going to have the backdrop. Yeah. Connect this here. Change the distort to be 1. And change, add in a math node. Math node. I can put math. Change this to be greater than. Connect it here. Change this value to be zero. And then add in a lens uh, blur node. Change this to be fast Gaussian. I increase this value. I think I use about 30, I think. Just fine. Also, let's combine our original image. So mix node, color mix, connect this here, change this to be multiply. Let me on the backdrop and yeah, we have a minute, it's very dark. So let me just uh, decrease the size a bit, 0.4 I think. Oh, that's making it more. Two, so it becomes a bit more blurred out. Yeah, three I think. Uh, it's just nice. You can just experiment with the values. So that's the uh, tutorial, guys. I hope you liked it. So this was our render result. Change to the viewer node. Now you get the nice rendered image. So now I can save this image by pressing F3 and save it on your drive. It's really nice because we added the depth of field. These areas are a bit blurred out. So because of vignette, we are focusing here. And uh, all of you will get some different results because we have used the random selection tool so it won't be similar to mine but it'll be good if you have followed the tutorial properly so it's pretty similar to this i think is this is more gloss here i think anyway it's just nice abstract ranger i hope you all like this video subscribe for more and you can also visit blenderskill.webs.com if you want to download the finished dublin file if you have any uh, uh, queries you can contact me and thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment